welcome back to the IBSP. Here's your host, Foxy New. Caleb Plant sends Anthony, the old dog Darrell, straight to hell. And look, let's break it down honestly and objectively as possible. And Caleb Plant knocks out Anthony, the old dog Darrell, at the end of the ninth round. I mean, this man went to the body, went back up to the head. One shot, knocked him out, sent him straight to hell. Before that, Caleb Plant was dominating the fight. This was a confidence-building fight to show that he can come back off of a loss against an elite fighter like Canelo Alvarez and show that he still got it. He's not mentally defeated. He can come back and put on a great performance, a dominant performance, and that's exactly what he needed to do, and that's exactly what he did. This Caleb Plant looked really good off of a loss, off of a knockout loss, come back, get a knockout win in the ninth round, box beautifully the whole fight. His defense was on point. His offense was on point. This guy's reflexes were great. He set up the shot and knocked him down. Yes, Anthony Durrell was the old dog Durrell. This wasn't an elite or a prime fighter, but this is Caleb Plant coming off of a knockout loss who could have had a lot of mental issues, who could have been emotionally distraught after that, but he bounced back like a true champion. So much respect to Caleb Plant on this type of performance. I think he has big things to come. Caleb Plant stated, hey, after I get this tune-up out of the way, after I get this out of the way, I want to fight guys like Jamal Charlo, David Benavides, and Demetrius Andre. He's been saying this for months, so that's what I want to see. After this type of performance, put it back in. Show us what you really want. Show us how hungry you are because you're not getting a rematch with Canelo Alvarez without going through the fire of another top fighter. Miss Spicy Boxing. What are your thoughts? What's next for Caleb Plant? What did you think about the knockout? And are you impressed? I am definitely impressed. You know, Caleb Plant is back. He is back and he is hungry. And so, you know, Darrell, it was lights out for him. But, you know, Caleb's Caleb's planned performance was outstanding. He did not let the Canelo Alvarez loss, you know, defeat him or anything like that. He came back stronger than ever. And so now it's time for the real test, right? Now it's time for him to fight Charlo, it's time for him to fight Andre, time to fight Benavidez. We want to see those fights. If he wants to see Canelo Alvarez again, he is going to have to fight those guys. Now, do you think that Caleb Plant can beat any one of those guys? I think it will be competitive. Can't say for sure, but it will be competitive. I agree. I think he's competitive with all of those fighters. I think he's highly skilled, highly talented, and him showing flashes of power if he fights a guy like Demetrius Andre. He might be able to break him down, you know. He fights a guy like Jamal Charlo. I can see him potentially outboxing him. I think that's a very competitive fight. A guy like David Benavidez with that pressure and that power, I would still edge David Benavidez mm -hmm. with his pressure, his power, his size. But I think Caleb Plant can win some rounds and maybe look good. And if he boxes good, maybe, who knows, anything can happen. The point is you got to get in there with these guys. If you want to rematch with Canelo, that's the only way to get it. Because men lie, women, women lie, but, but the facts... facts don't lie. lie.